The British Empire, a colossal state covering a quarter of the Earth's landmass and controlling fifth of the world's population. The heyday of this great empire is referred to by historians as Pax Britannica, the British world, in reference to the Pax Romana. The beginnings of the age are often traced to the Battle of Waterloo in 1815, when the last potential British rival, the French Empire, lost and it ended at the end of the First World War in 1918. So let's take a look at how Britain ruled the seas. The beginnings of the British dominance came at the beginning of the American colonization and the age of great geographical discoveries. Britain, with few resources in its metropolis, had to move out and seek colonies. The first such colony was Ireland, and on the basis of the Irish colonization in the 16th and 17th centuries, the colonization of the American continent followed. The term planter came from the English settlers who took possession of the land in Ireland, and then the term came to America. Then, on the 31st December 1600, the East India Trading Company was established, which enabled Britain to reach the Asian market and then capture its crown jewel, India. Other British colonies were the consequences of these events, South Africa, Malaysia, the Avi Coast and others. After defeating the French at the Battle of Waterloo, Britain had no rivals left to rival it. With an invincible navy, she controlled the major shipping lanes and conquered a quarter of the globe. Her colonies enabled her to become a leading industrial power. Industrialization elevated Britain higher than anyone expected. In 90 years, from 1780 to 1870, Britain's real gross domestic product GDP, almost doubled. Britain became the most industrialized country in the world, where one in three people worked in a factory. It was also the most urbanized country, with 80% of the population living in the cities. By 1870, as a result, it benefited from free trade as it it was the main producer of the goods and the planet. Its tariffs fell quickly and its economy grew even faster. The wars in Africa and Asia brought her enormous trade preferences and profit. China became a raw material appendage of the empire and Africa was being built up by railways. The British capital London became the economic capital of the world and its population surpassed the 6 million mark. The average income of a resident of the metropolis doubled. By 1914, only the United States and German Empire could compete in some areas with Great Britain, but its supremacy over the rest of the world was not in doubt. The First World War was a point of no return for the British Empire. The war resulted in an estimated loss of British lives of 1 million to 1.2 million men and 2.1 million wounded. The war had a comprehensive effect on Britain. The refugee crisis, social crisis, class warfare, colonial oppression and the imperceptible peace conference led to the decline. The British could not understand why a million young men were murdered, which led to this rise of all sorts of radical movements. In 1920, the Communist Party of Great Britain was formed. In 1925, the Welsh Nationalist Party of Plate Cymru was formed. Pax Britannica ended. This was followed by the world economic crisis, World War II and the eventual collapse of the British Empire. The influence of Pax Britannica on world history and on the modern world is not in dispute. The borders of many modern countries were drawn with the involvement of the British government. The modern economic model laid down by the British industrialization. The English language spoken by over 1 billion people across the planet. British ideals and trends that are still evident in society today. Every aspect of our lives has been greatly influenced by Pax Britannica. Therefore. It is safe to say that Britain really ruled the seas.